What'd you think about that? I don't like it at all. <laughs> I'm coming back for you, baby. Hello and welcome to the workshop. Thank you for stopping by. Too loud? No. Thank you for stopping by. We appreciate you very, very much. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing because we upload a lot of sneaker videos. I'm guessing you're into sneakers. That's why you clicked on the video. It makes sense. Buckets, please define a lot of videos. Almost every single day. Almost every single day. You can also find me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Mr. Fomer Simpson. When I'm not here, I'm over on those other platforms. Buckets, you don't like when I say frolicking. Please give me another word. You're just on. I'm meandering. No, your your phone is perusing. Sure. There we go. Um, also want to mention uncivilizedstore.com. My esteemed colleague behind the camera, the silence behind the violence, Young Buckets Esquire, please say the Esquire. Him and I have a clothing brand. Uncivilizedstore.com is where we sell said clothing. A lot of cool stuff, a lot of cool projects we're working on. We will put a link in the description of this video for your convenience. This t-shirt that I'm wearing right now, Buckets, that's the bottom line. That's the bottom line. It's not on the website. Not yet. Not yet. But we got other cool stuff on there. We're always, you know, sprinkling gems, creations. Check it out. Anything from you. You got a pep talk. You got some words of encouragement. I feel like you're not giving me a lot of energy right now. I'm giving you tons of energy. Tons of energy. Yeah, you're doing good. Keep going. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Three, two, one. Bang, bang. This is the Air Jordan 1 High 85 in black and white. These released recently and retail was $200. Now I was able to snag a pair. I say I, Buckets, you were able to snag a pair off the sneakers app, so good job. Uh, good on you. Thank you. We don't bat a very good uh, percentage on the sneakers app, so I was actually pretty surprised when you told me you got them because usually <laughs> a lot of swings, a lot of misses. Yeah. But doesn't matter because we got these. It is a pair that I was pretty excited to get my hands on. Gotta be honest, right out of the box, I know people some people are going to disagree with me but kind of underwhelming i don't know i was expecting i don't know what i was expecting as some of you probably know the air jordan 1 high 85 it's essentially supposed to be a reissue of the original jordan 1 the most true to the og and so that's kind of cool i dig that but still this pair this colorway in particular just not as excited as i expected to be now i've seen people assigning different nicknames to this sneaker i saw people calling them the panda jordan ones because they have that black and white color scheme Scheme. You know, we saw the Panda Dunk Low go absolutely crazy over the last couple years. I swear I have never seen so many restocks in my life buckets. It felt like every couple months, every month sometimes, more pandas. Panda, panda, panda. Yeah. It was a lot of them. A lot of pandas to the point where you would go anywhere in public and you'd probably see a handful of pandas on feet. That's how popular that sneaker became. And I do think one of the reasons is because the black and white colorway, it really is very, very wearable. Now, I wasn't the biggest fan of the panda dunks personally, and I think maybe I'm just buckets, maybe the black and white colorway, I don't know. Maybe it's just not, it doesn't get the, the juices flowing for me. Yeah, I mean, I like a lot of black and white sneakers. Are you into these? I'll talk about it later. All right, you're playing it close to the vest. I respect it. Me personally, I actually think the Georgetown 85s that released not too long ago, I think those are a lot better than these. Even though, like I said, these are probably more wearable. I also think that I've gotten to the point with Jordan 1s, I like them a little bit more lived in. You know, Buckets, growing up, right? We didn't have a lot of sneakers. 
when you had that new pair, you didn't want them to crease, you didn't want them to get dirty, you were, you know, taking a toothbrush to the midsole. I feel like with the Jordan 1 specifically, I like them more beat up now. I like them lived in. I feel like it adds some character, especially when it's a really simple, really basic or plain colorway like these. That kind of added character gives it a little, a little something because it's not a spicy colorway. So, you know, you have that, what's that word I'm looking for? I'm not sure. You're saying you're going to like them more when you wear them? Yeah, because I said initially right out of the box, a little underwhelming. I wouldn't be surprised if two months from now, when they're more worn, I dig them a little bit more. Yeah, I definitely agree. I don't with know that. what this is. I guess this is the out. This is the bottom of the. Yeah, sneaker. you're holding the outsole. I'm holding it here. It's like an invisible shoe. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Now, detail-wise, there's not a ton to talk about. It's kind of what you see is what you get. It's almost entirely leather on the upper. You've got the white perforated toe box. Black wrapping around the front of the sneaker. Black swoosh on top of that white backdrop. You got white around the ankle, black on the back of the sneaker, white nylon tongue with the Nike Air tongue tag front and center. You got black laces. They also come with an extra set as well. You got a little hang tag booklet thingamajiggy, vintage vibes, white wings logo on the side here. crispy white midsole and the all black outsole just to kind of finish things off. Very simple, nothing fancy. The quality is a little different on the 85s, by the way, just something to note. The leather they use is a bit stiffer. It's not that super soft, plush leather that we've seen a bunch when it comes to Jordan 1s over the past several years. The all-time barometer buckets, the all-time Jordan 1 how good is the leather gauge is what sneaker? Shattered backboard. Shattered backboard. Super plush, super soft. These are not those. These are supposed to be more true to the original sneaker from back in the day where they did use a thinner, stiffer kind of leather. So you might say, ah, I don't really love the leather quality, but again, just keep in mind, these are the 85s and it's a recreation of that original sneaker. Now I should probably also mention there may be buckets, we've talked about it a little bit in recent videos. There may just be some Jordan 1 fatigue because you look at the last 10 years, it's been Jordan 1, after Jordan 1, after Jordan 1, after Jordan 1. And it does get to a point where, you know, even for us, I love the Jordan 1. It's one of my favorite sneakers. I almost always have a pair in the rotation. When I look at the last 10 years, probably three or four of my most worn sneakers, if I looked at, like made a list, top 10, would be Jordan 1s. I mean, the black and red ones, you and I both ran those into the ground, my Jeter ones, there were just so many pairs. So I love the Jordan 1. My love for the Jordan 1 has not changed, but the need for so many new colorways. You picking up what I'm putting down? Yeah, I mean, I think that there's a little bit of fatigue potentially, but I, I think that they probably, I don't know anything about the numbers, but I think they made a lot of pairs of these and they sold out. Well, and to that point, this is probably one of the more popular Jordan retros that we've seen in a while, definitely this year. We're early into the year, but man, they sold out instantly. People are really going after them or we're going after them. Resale value is, you know, in the $300 range, I think. So people like this sneaker a lot. They really like this sneaker a lot where we've seen a lot of other Jordan retros sitting on shelves to your point. So I don't know, maybe my Jordan one fatigue thing, throw it out. Maybe that was a bad take. No, but we just did the reverse Laney and those were sitting. Exactly. In exactly. some sizes they were sitting. Exactly. So I guess, I, you know, maybe people love these again. Man, scale of one to 10, if I had to give these a final, are they worth it? They're so wearable. They really are so wearable. But I give them like a six and a half, maybe seven out of 10 if I'm being generous. I, I, I feel like it's a solid sneaker. I feel like it's a pair. You can put a lot of miles on, but they just don't wow me. They just don't, I don't know, I don't know. And it's not like I'm against simple colorways. I love simple colorways, but maybe this one, just not all the way doing it for me. So I'll, you know what? I'll split the difference. I'll go to the second decimal. I'll go 6.75 out of 10 on these. You know, that's pretty low for me. Yeah. You know, and I do love me some Jordan ones. I do. Bucket, scale of one to 10. How you feeling? I'm going to go five. Five out of 10. Yeah. 
Too basic? No, not too basic. I like a lot of completely plain sneakers. Yeah. But these, they're, I don't, I don't know. And I understand that people love the Panda Dunk. And like you said, if you go outside, you see people wearing them. And I think that that's, I think that's good. I think it's cool that people like sneakers and that they're wearing nice sneakers or what they perceive are nice sneakers. That's important. Okay. Does this, any of this making any sense? No. <laughs> okay. Not a lick. I think it's great that people wear sneakers and like them. No, no, listen, if you love these, if these are a 10 out of 10 for you, then by all means, scream it from the mountaintops. Not telling you that you got to agree with us, but want to give you our honest opinion at the same time. I think they're a 7 out of 10. Buckets, you think they're a 5. And your point and was... And you said 6.75. What I, I say now, 7? Seven. Seven, I'm always trying to yeah. edge well, it up My there. point is, right behind you, right, is the Concords. Yep. Great sneaker. Basically black and white sneaker. Ah, good point. All right, so then, yeah, maybe they, ah, good point. I, like, I'm not, like, I like a lot of plain-ish sneakers. I just, these are a five. They're completely middle of the road. All right. That's middle, my point. Middle of the road for you. Yeah. Okay. But you're glad that people wear and like sneakers. That was your message. Yeah, okay. and if, <laughs> what I've said a million times is, who cares what I think? Only it matters to me. <laughs> we gotta go out of there. <laughs> that only matters to me. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> if people like them, <laughs> if people like them, wear them. That's, there you that's go. good to go. That's the moral of the story. Leave a comment below. Let us know. Do you like them? Scale of one to 10, what would you give them? Because like Bucket said, that is what actually matters. Thank you for tuning in. We appreciate you very, very much. Uh, what else, Buckets? We'll be back tomorrow. Yeah. Same time, same place, right here at the workshop with a brand new sneaker for your head top. Got actually got a really, really dope pair. A pair that I'm going to be given higher than a 7 out of 10. I can assure you of that. 6.75. 6.75. Damn, I keep trying to get to that 7. Um, I got nothing else. Buckets, anything to add? Nope. This is probably the most you've talked in a video, maybe ever. I mean, I've done whole videos. I'm going to say, I'm going to say probably we regret it. <laughs> <laughs> Me talking. You talking, yeah. <laughs> no, nah, I feel pretty good about it. <laughs> Adios.